All right, y'all. So today we're looking forward to getting the greenhouse fan installed. Um, we don't have power at the greenhouse, so I wanted to find a solution that didn't require power. And uh, the best option that I came up with is a automotive fan that's uh, wired to a solar panel. Um, obviously, this can be used anywhere where the sun shines. Warning, this is not to be used where the sun don't shine. Well, let's go. So I chose a 100 watt solar panel kit. Um, the kit came with a 100 watt panel as well as a charge controller wires and then mounting brackets for the panel as well and then the fan is a 12 inch automotive fan all right y'all so i'll make sure to get links in the description for all of this stuff uh, but let's see what's in the box All right, so pretty uh, pretty straightforward there as far as the fan goes. Looks like these are going to be some uh, mounting connectors. I doubt that those get used for this project. My intention was to build a wood frame around this and uh, mount it to the greenhouse with the, the wood frame. So this fan is really supposed to move the air. Um, I believe that it should be adequate for the greenhouse. It's supposed to uh, more than replace the air in the greenhouse every minute. Um, so basically this time of year, if it's sunny outside, it's hot in the greenhouse, too hot in the greenhouse. Um, so this should just run whenever, uh, it's sunny outside. All right, y'all. So I've got the fan and wiring. Uh, we're going to go over to the greenhouse and try to get this installed. So this winter has actually been really dry. Uh, we're even under a burn ban right now. Well, we've got a storm. I'm hoping it gets to us. We need the rain. Um... Got a storm off on the horizon there. Not quite sure if it's going to make it to us or not. It's always neat to watch the storms blow in up on top of our hill here. But uh, we'll get over to the greenhouse real quick and see what we got. Alright, so it seems like I do it to myself every spring, but I've got way, way more to do than I think I have time to do. Um, we still haven't even got around to doing our plant starts. I'm hoping if the weather cooperates um, that we'll be able to do that sometime today. So I had considered building a wooden frame to mount the exhaust fan to, uh, but since there's not, a, it's not square, it's rounded, um, the difficulty level went way up on that. So I'm just going to uh, zip tie it on and cut away the plastic. And then I'll actually put some kind of flap on the inside to be able to restrict the airflow if it's cold outside. All right, so I've gone ahead and uh, made a couple of slits for the zip ties. I'm gonna go inside and uh, poke the zip ties back through real quick. All right, so we got the zip ties poked through. We're gonna go back around and uh, put on the, the vent fan. So this is gonna be our third season actually uh, using the greenhouse. Um, we've had some decent success with flowers, um, but our vegetable starts haven't gone so well. And I think a lot of that is because it's been getting too hot in there. And the other thing is uh, the our seed starting mixture that I was using, um, even though we were fertilizing at the proper times and everything, the plants just weren't getting the nutrients they needed and we were experiencing seed stall. So we swap, uh, swapped out the uh, seed starting mix. We had used uh, a homemade seed starting mix and uh, this year we're just going to try miracle Grow. I read good things about it online. I know it's not necessarily organic or anything, but for the short duration that these plants are actually in it, I really don't think it matters anyways. All right, so we've got the fan hanging in place. It's still loose. Um, basically what I ended up doing is cutting a, just a square out of the plastic and then hanging the fan on there. We'll go ahead and put the other zip ties on both sides there and then... Uh, make a hole for our electrical wires and we'll make some of our electrical connections. All right, so we're back in the greenhouse, gonna poke through these other uh, zip ties for the bottom connections there. Um, you know, we've been really happy with the greenhouse overall, um, considering how cheap it was to build um, and even the plastic that we put on it, it was just super cheap. Um, it was rated as a three year plastic, but honestly, I feel like unless it just craps out this year, um, it really should last uh, another couple of years. Um, and the roll that we bought, we actually had enough to do this greenhouse two more times. So um, one roll of, of plastic should last at least a decade. Um, I didn't buy the greenhouse tape just because we had a bunch of leftover 
a construction tape, Tyvek tape. Um, so that's actually what I sealed up the greenhouse with whenever we uh, built it. Um, and it looks okay. Obviously, it's not the not the prettiest, but it definitely works, and it was uh, free. So uh, that's what we used. Um, all right, so we'll go ahead and strap this up real tight and then poke through our wires and get to working on that. All right, so I went ahead and uh, tightened down the zip ties real tight and snipped those so that they're, they're not sticking out and then made a little X and poked through the wire here. So that's a good, good clean, tight connection there. Um, we'll go inside and start working on the wiring on the inside. All right, so heading back into the greenhouse. This is what it looks like from the inside. I did go ahead and open up that plastic a little bit more than the original square that I had cut just uh, to increase the airflow. So one thing I do plan on doing is installing a switch uh, just so that we can turn the airflow off if needed. Um, because of how I'm installing the, the fan directly to the solar panel, um, if the sun's shining, the fan's going to be on. And I want to have the opportunity to shut the, the fan off if needed, if temperatures are cool. All right, so got some of my tools. I uh, got the switch and box, as well as plate and tape. Got some wire crimps and uh, wire cutters and stuff, so we should be ready to go. All right, so we've connected our uh, wires that go to the panel, uh, to the fan itself. They had plastic sleeves, waterproof sleeves to go over, and I went ahead and taped it just for an extra layer of, of security there. So we'll lengthen these to wherever we're going to put our switch and install the switch. All right, so I thought I'd show you all what we got so far. So basically, uh, we have the fan wires going over and down to our switch. And then from the switch, it's going to go over to the electric panel. Um, I will say for all the trolls out there, uh, this is not a how-to. I'm just videoing what I'm doing here. Uh, more of an experiment than anything. I'll be curious to, to know how it goes and I'll let y'all know if it works well. Uh, my biggest concern is wiring it straight from the solar panel. I know that most solar panels don't put out nearly what they're rated for. Um, and reading on the reviews, the solar panel definitely is not even close to 100 watts. Uh, so I don't think I should have any issues with wattage. Uh, voltage may be a concern. Um, but I guess we'll see on that. I'm so far happy with how the installation's going. Um, I'll get back to it. All right, y'all, so we've got everything hooked up. I'm fixing to do a test run and see how it works. So I've just got the solar panel laying inside here at a slide angle. I may find some more two by fours and raise that up here in a minute. I'm not putting it outside because of how many rocks we have. Um, it would definitely get broken uh, whenever we mow and I don't wanna have to move it around. Um, so if it works inside and we don't need the space, I'll continue to do that. If we do, I do have the, the wire is long enough to move it outside. So basically wires go up to the switch and then over to the fan. So we'll hit the switch and see what happens. It almost looks like it's not moving on the camera, but it's uh, it's cooking. Working very good. We'll run around to the other back side and see how much flow we're actually getting. Yeah, pleased with that. Definitely pleased with that. That's moving a good amount of air. So um, I guess the next step is going to be cutting some vents on the opposite side and then making some flaps uh, to be able to shut all the vents for cold weather. All right, so for the front vents, I just chose to keep it simple and I just cut the slit out of the plastic and I'm using a clip. I assume if it gets below freezing or near freezing, we'll probably come and uh, either clip them or tape them shut uh, for the night just with some masking tape. Uh, again, we've got the solar panel uh, that's directly wired through a switch to the fan. Uh, today's fairly overcast and it's still putting out pretty good. So I definitely will be curious to see if the fan can keep up on a sunny uh, late spring day. But as far as today goes, with the amount of cloud covering we have, um, the fan is definitely keeping up. Um, we are looking forward to getting our seed starts started this week. Hopefully our tomatoes and peppers will do better than they have in previous years, but I guess we'll see on that. Um, but again, thank y'all for watching, and y'all have a good one. All right, so we had installed the uh, 
greenhouse fan earlier in the day and unfortunately we didn't get any of the storms we were hoping for today uh, but we do have a beautiful sunset to look at one of my favorite things about living on this spot up on the hill is we have an amazing view and uh, an amazing creator that that paints the sky for us every night just thought i'd share it with y'all y'all have a good one